Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collector here with another action figure review. I don't usually do DC Multiverse action figures uh, that much, but I thought these, I got more figures coming in uh, for reviews, but I might end up just starting to do DC Multiverse reviews now. Um, because now they're actually doing really good at articulation and looks of them. But here I have the Earth-1 Batman, or Doomsday Batman, um, which I thought was really cool. He looks really cool. He's huge. Um, so here's the front for you. Batman Earth-1 here. Just like that. Here's the side art. I mean, there's no side art really, but there's the side for you. Here's the back with the card that I'll come with. And then all the other figures or art curds they have there the other side here's the top not much there and then here's the bottom with the dcpi um, but besides that let's crack this guy open and here he is out of the packaging so the things that he comes with is this disc here that holds them up a bit i would assume so it has the dc logo furnished there and it has that peg there to put plug into his feet so just like that, if you can. Basically, his foot covers up almost the entire thing, most of it. Um, but yeah, and then it comes with this card. It's not hard. It's not as like the uh, th it's not like the throwing card material like the other ones are, I guess. Uh, and then in the back, here's like some little stuff about him. And there's that for you. Um, but besides that, I think it looks really cool. I like the looks more than the articulation. The articulation is a little limited for this guy, but mainly that's because he's a big guy. So he won't be able to move or have that much articulation out of it, it is the thing. But let's go over the looks here. So since he is basically Batman, he has the bat ears there, which I think is a cool add-in. And you get these nice, really cool dark spikes popping out of the shoulders there. Get some rip, I mean, some clothing there ripped up there. Some along this bicep here. You get some more spikes going on through his forearm and his actual shoulder. Same deal on the other side. They did a really good job on the sculpt, I will say that, and the paint apps. Uh, I think they could have done a mm, I'm not sure. Maybe the nails for this figure could have a little bit more extra going on there, but I'm not really bothered with it. Get red eyes. Teeth are a little, I guess, tan or yellowish, I guess. For some reason, I think my, my Doomsday or Batman, whatever you want to call him, his jaw is a little weird there. But, oh well. And then here's the back for you. Get some spikes going on. There's that little thing there. And I think these shorts are just a separate piece. So if you guys want to take it apart and take it off, I guess you can. But um, this is really cool that they add there. You get more pants ripped up right there along the leg, thigh. Same deal on the other side. Uh, you get some more spikes down here. Here's the feet for you. There's the back and the calves, the butt. Um, but besides that, that's really it for looks. I like the looks and the sculpt for him. But let's go over his articulation here. So you can only look up that much. He can look down that much. You get some head pivoting, like a lot actually. So you get that much. Uh, you get him looking right just a little bit because this gets in the way and then the other way same deal 
uh, his jaw does move so you can uh, open his mouth up that wide like that and then closed like that kind of looks like he's smirking at you um his shoulders can move out that much these kind of get in the way you get 360 rotation around there he has single jointed elbows so that's all right uh, and then so you can also swivel it 360 rotation along there um his wrists can hinge side to side if i can you guys can see that little pig there too um you should be able yeah there it is it's just stiff at the moment but you get him to move it side to side there a little bit like that clicks a little bit but barely moves side to side you get 360 rotation there um he has a diaphragm joint the ball joint there but you can only get him to move side to side really with that but he also has another ball joint at the hips so you get him to go a little bit more to the side with all of them going like that forward not a whole lot that's him just standing straight up that's him forward then here's him going backwards he get he gets a lot backwards especially for a big guy his legs can move out that much but this kind of gets in the way it's a pretty so it's soft plastic enough to make it move or stretch a bit but it kind of restricts him to kick out that much and also forward like he barely kicks forward on uh, backwards a little bit more more than usual figures um he has no thigh cut i don't yeah no thigh cut uh he does have i believe single jointed knees looks like it yeah single jointed knees um so you get that to move around so it doesn't need a, th a shin cut or anything like that but kind of acts a little weird his angles can hinge down that far oh i forgot about that piece uh up now like zero you get ankle pivot and his uh toes can hinge up that much and down to regular but yeah so there's not a whole lot of bad things for him besides maybe a little bit of articulation but it's a big guy and i think that had a lot more articulation than the like old dc figures with like all the flat uh, like t tv show flash figures and stuff like that so i think they're really improving especially with todd mcfarland's toy line now they're doing ra a way better job than they did before um and they did a really good job on the paint apps, sculpt, and stuff like that. They did really good. And then um, I guess the only problem that I had was articulation. But I guess it's a big guy. So he wouldn't have much articulation anyways. Even in real, like if it was real, he wouldn't have that much. Or in movies, still not a whole lot. I think you could be able to get him in somewhat a running pose. I would assume. Like it should, you should be able to get him look like he was running. And then lean forward a bit, but not a whole lot. That's, I guess that's one problem that I have with the articulation is him, his ab crunch forward. The backwards is good, but besides that, I think that's really all I've got for complaints, complaints for him. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got for him. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal. It's supposed to help me out with getting Get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh, to do reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it and then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then, 
Uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.